Hello my dears, how are you today? Welcome to my channel, I am Sora and today we're gonna talk about energy flow in the ecosystem. Here, what can you see here? You can see the ocean and you can see a group of deers. Okay, super. So this is called ecosystem. So the ecosystem, it is an area like the ocean or the tundra or community area. It is an area or community that contains living organisms like fish and deers and non-living things like the ice the rocks the coral reef that interact with each other in the ecosystem the ecosystem provides food water and shelter and shelter mean home home for the animals or for the plants or even for humans so the ecosystem it is an area or community that contains living organisms and non-living things that interact with each other and provides food water and shelter or home the ecosystem depends on something called energy flow Energy flow through those components. So what is the meaning of energy flow? As you can see here, a sequence of animals. In this sequence, energy flow or moves through the ecosystem or those animals. From Start from the plants and end with dying of those animals. So the energy flow or moves through the ecosystem from plants to animals like the rabbits eat the grasses. The energy flow or moves from the grasses to the rabbit and then the fox eating the rabbit. The energy from the rabbit move or flow to the fox and then to another animal. Then the animal die in this soil and this energy flow or move to the soil so energy flow or moves through the ecosystem from plants to animals and then between animals like here between animals from the rabbit to the fox or from the fox to the lion when they eat each other then when living organisms die their energy is returned to the soil super what can you see here? Hooks. This is a hook. So hooks in the ecosystem have to get energy too. How they get energy? Hooks get energy from food, like all living organisms. How? Hooks eat different types of animals, such as snakes, mice, fish, birds, squirrel, rabbits, and other small ground animals. What is the meaning of ground animals? The animals that live in the ground. Also, hawks don't eat plants. They don't eat plants, but they eat animals that eat plants. So, hawks also depend on plants for energy as the energy flow from the plant to the animal that the hawks eat. So, the hawks depend on the plant for energy. There are few predators that can attack hawks. Can you remember the meaning of the predator? We said that we have something called prey and we have something called predator. The prey like the mice and predator like cats. Cats eat mice, right? So the cat is a predator and the mice is a prey. So hawks have few predators that can attack hawks such as eagles or other hawks so they attack each others okay so what happens when hawks dies like all living things when hawks die they will decompose and then their energy is returned to the soil so what is the meaning of decompose decompose means that there is something called bacteria digest the dried bodies of the animals or even the human like we digest food in our bodies in the digestion process. So bacteria digest or decompose the dyed bodies of the animals into simpler form or into simpler substance. This is the meaning of decompose. So when hawks die, they will decompose and then their energy is returned to the soil again. There are many different ecosystems on the earth. We have many different ecosystems on the earth. Like what? Like the ocean ecosystem. Like rainforest ecosystem. Like desert ecosystem. 
like tundra ecosystem so we have or there are many different ecosystem on the earth animals don't choose the food they eat according to its taste but they eat food according to what this animal's body need to survive like the caracal eats mouse the caracal's body need to eat mouse the caracal doesn't eat mouse for its taste but as its body need to eat mouse like the rabbit eats grass rabbit eats grass as their body need to eat grass not for its taste but as their bodies need to eat grass like the birds eat butterflies and worms so caracal eats mouse rabbit eats grass and birds eat butterflies and worms not for its taste, but as their body needs this kind of food. Why animals eat plants or other animals? We said before that plants make their own food, but animals can't make their own food or can't produce their own food. So they need to get energy. How to get energy? From eating plants or other animals. Can you remember the photosynthesis process? We said before that in the photosynthesis process, the leaves of the plant have substance called chlorophyll. The chlorophyll substance captures the sunlight energy and in the presence of carbon dioxide in the water, the sunlight allows the combination between the carbon dioxide and the water to make glucose sugar, the food of the plants, to get energy. So there is a relationship between sunlight and energy that we get from our food. We eat plants and we eat animals that come from plants. So the plant's energy comes from the sunlight. So there is a relationship between sunlight and the energy that we get from our food. So the sun is the primary source of energy for all living organisms on the earth. To live, to grow, and to carry out life process like the photosynthesis or like the digestion process. We need energy to do all activities in our daily life, right? Like thinking, breathing, or moving. Some activities need or require a lot of energy, such as hard work or doing physical exercises. Our bodies still use some energy when we sleep. So even when you sleep, your body needs or use energy. Living organisms can either produce their own food such as plants or get food from other organisms such as animals including humans. So let's compare between plants and animals. Plants can make their own food through photosynthesis process by absorbing sunlight through their leaves and use the energy of the sun to convert water and carbon dioxide gas into glucose, right? So animals, including humans, can't make their own food, but they get energy from the environment in which they live. How? Different animals can get their own food by, number one, eating plants only like rabbits eat grass, or number two, eating other animals that eat plants like foxes eat rabbits super. Number three, by eating poles, plants, and animals like humans, we eat plants like tomato, like cucumber, like carrots. And we eat animals like cow, like birds, like fish. So our conclusion will be that the light energy of the sun, the radiant energy. What is the meaning of radiant energy? As you can see that the sun have rays. These rays have energy. So the light energy of the sun or the radiant energy is converted into or change it into chemical energy in plants during the photosynthesis process so the plant's leaves take the sunlight or the light energy or the radiant energy from the sun and convert it or change it, it into chemical energy in the photosynthesis process and then this energy is passed to animals and humans in the food that we eat so sun is the main source of energy for all living organisms. So what is the ecosystem? Can you tell me? Super. So ecosystem, it is an area or community that contains living organisms and non-living things that interact with each other and provides food, water, and shelter. And we said that 
Shelter means home. Super. How do plants and animals get energy? Super. Clap for yourself. So plants can make their own food through the photosynthesis process by absorbing the sunlight through their leaves and use the energy of the sun to convert water and carbon dioxide gas into glucose. But animals, including humans, can't make their own food, but they get energy from the environment in which they live. Different animals can get their food by number one, eating plants only, number two, eating other animals that eat plants, and number three, eating both plants and animals. Super! This was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye!